Hello and welcome back to a brand new Player 2 unboxing. My name is Paul James and today I have the great pleasure to be diving into this beautiful specimen, the Horizon Forbidden West Collector's Edition. One of two different special editions that I have picked up for the now released PS5 Blockbuster. Now if you have not caught the Player 2 content that is based around this game so far, please be make sure to uh, please make sure to go and check out check out Jess's review on the Player 2 website, that is player2.net.au. The review discussion held between Jess and I, Player 2's YouTube channel, youtube.com slash player2.net.au, and on podcast feeds via the patch podcast feed, and a Player 2 plays again on the Player 2 YouTube channel, where I show you through the game's earliest points in full. But now, I've picked up my retail version of Horizon Forbidden West just earlier today, and I'm very excited to be diving into this one. We're going to check out the contents. We have a giant Tremor Tusky in there that's going to be really, really cool. And I want to show you that and everything else that's within. Look out for another unboxing dedicated to the Regala Edition once I receive it. Unfortunately, that one is stuck in transit as we speak. So, as we dive into it, we do have the core box art itself. Emphasizing the Tremor Tusk Aloy there as well, the Collector's Edition, it's the PS5 version. We uh, highlighted here that there's a digital code, no game disc, digital code that is for the PS4 and PS5 versions. Um, we've got a little Tremor Tusk symbol on the side. We've got some details about the Collector's Edition on the back there. So you can see we've got a steel book, we've got another game, we've got a mini art book, we've got the statue as well as some little figures to go with it. It highlights the digital contents as well for the special edition there. Lots of really cool things, but I'm keen to actually dive into it and get my hands on all of them. So, as you can see, we've got some tape down the sides here. Let's cut that open first. Using, sorry Sony, this is not a you thing, using my beautiful little uh, tape cutter here, a little sword from Xenoblade Chronicles that Nintendo offered me a few years ago. Alright. So, from there, how's this bad boy crack open? Are we unfolding from the top? Are we unfolding from the front? Little hard to tell, but it's not here. <laughs> um, where do we... Where do we dive into this thing? Or are you just peeling from the, we're peeling from the sides? All right, let's put that back down again. Put our Monado off to the side. And we'll start to explore what is within. Now, what I'm already seeing, and you will have seen me talk about this in great depth if you caught the player two plays that I put together for the game. This is some art that you actually see in the game's main menu. Not when it's um, idling on your PlayStation dashboard, but when you're actually within the game. It's also kind of the, the key art as well. Um, so most of us have seen this, this before. Sunwing, Aloy on reverse sides there. Horizon Forbidden West on the top, the bottom, just kind of the static imagery that we saw before. Do I lift this off? Here we go. I have been so incredibly excited about this collector's edition. It's not even funny. It's huge. <laughs> <laughs> and this is the smaller of the two. The Regalo one has even more going on with it. So, we'll dive into that. We've got the Tremor Tusk here and a lot of other little pieces and attachments already there fixed. So this, this might take us a little while to actually build this thing. Um, silica gel. I'll slide that out. I can feel the other contents, I believe, maybe at the foot of this thing. No. Are these the assembly instructions? They appear to be. We've got some assembly instructions. Ah, but we've got a compartment below that conceals ultimately what really matters, the playing experience. 
but also the miniature artbook. I'm not going to dive into this in any great depth because the game is only out today, so I don't want to spoil anything for anyone who's not had a go. But um, it highlights a lot of key locations. In fact, from what like the quick glimpses here, there's nothing too spoilerish about it. But I still, to respect your uh, spoilerless needs, I'm not going to speak too much. But we talk about the Tanakh, who are one of the main tribes, the Osaram that we know from the original game. There's Aloy. There's um, there's like scars of war, kind of the the environment post. Uh, the fall of society, we see bits of San Francisco, so, so some of the environments that we go to, um, Vegas, we see the machines, a number of machines, the Slither Fang, the, the Tremor Tusk and, and more. Um, some really cool art there and I'm really really hopeful and I haven't seen it advertised anywhere and it's very unusual for a Sony first party title. I'm really hoping to get my hands on like a full proper The Art of Horizon Forbidden West at some point. It'll go nicely alongside uh, my art book for the original which is tucked somewhere over here um, at the moment and I look forward to adding to that at some stage something beyond just the mini art book which is fantastic let's not get it wrong but I hope that we get a little bit more on top of this um, continuing that on we have the steelbook which I like I love steelbooks I really really love steelbooks I, I'm still a fan of the hard copy at, at the end of the day I still like having a, hard, a physical edition uh, maybe gather that from all the collector's editions un un unboxed that we've done over the journey. But what's interesting about this one is that, like, we've got our steel book, but it's a digital code within. Won't won't highlight that. Um, but yeah, we've got the it's the full game for PS4. Then we've got the exclusive DLC codes for all those, the soundtrack, etc., etc., on separate on separate vouchers. So um, that's fantastic. And yeah, a steel book which looks great, but of course, no disc, it's a placeholder. But, in a moment of honesty, will I probably buy the game again so that I actually have a physical disc in there? You can bet your bottom dollar I will. Um, which will be three ed three editions of the game I will have bought. Uh, we've got Aloy there, so again, some more key art that we've seen, Tremor Tusks. Uh, we can see Regala, like the, the army there. Uh, what else have we got? There's sun wings, there's Aloy, we've got large Aloy, sm small Aloy with the battle ahead. All sorts of cool stuff going on there. But we know, I know, I understand the reason you're here is to see the Tremor Dusk. So let's open up this package. Still some more tape somewhere. Probably a lot of tape actually. But I will learn a lot from this experience that will help me when I go around again with the um, with the Regala edition. So as you can see, we've got a, an assortment of pieces to assemble because right now it's not quite looking the part, I guess. We've got our instructions there that we'll adhere to. So we'll place that down. We'll get our instructions out. Don't fall over, please. And we'll uh, scope it all out. So we're basically instructed that the, the horns, the tusks go where elephant tusks go. Um, it's, they're actually quite vague sort of instructions, there they are. Um, but where do they slot? Here? Let's have a look. They clip on lower, they're down here, here we go. Um, you will be on this side. Hmm. Let's try that again. They at least are uh, kind of this, you know, like a red tip here. We've got a little red tip on the end, so it's red to red and... Come on. That's a 
that's the first one socketed in. a bit closer again got one tusk in there we go both socketed on so you can see we're getting there the legs are a little bit opposable is there anything left in this portion no so the rest of the action is here and that'll be where we find our trunk and looks like some more tusks and our aloy figure at the end and this of course is going to sit wonderfully alongside uh, my Horizon Forbidden, uh, sorry, Zero Dawn Aloy that you can see just behind my head here. There she is, tapping that chin. Um, but there's going to be two of them, so I've got to get a bit creative as to how I want to use this space going forward because they are quite large, occupy a lot of room, and that's going to require some recalibration, I think. But, before we get to that, let's just get this thing built. So... The trunk should be fairly self-explanatory. Right here. Come on. In you get. There we go. Our two remaining tusks. They are once again in different colours to make life that little bit easier. I'm going to just make this clear right now for people. I am in love with Aloy and Horizon as a franchise. But something I was never able to do was get my hands on the Thunderjaw Collector's Edition for the original game. So if you watching this video right now happen to be in possession of said Thunderjaw collector's edition I'm keen to talk to you if you would like to sell it give it a happy new home I would like to buy it and put it alongside this this beautiful beautiful monster <laughs> uh, so yes we've got the statue now assembled you've got a little aloy figure that you can kind of place accordingly um, strategically presumably not going to be sitting quite together she might be sitting because the enormous scale of the the tremor tusk means that aloy is going to be sitting slightly further away um, you presume but you could you, know, you could set it so that she's kind of underneath that would emphasize the scale as well um, yeah, I guess it's an interesting choice to have her sitting separately. But um, that's it. That is the collector's edition of Horizon Forbidden West. So the game's out on PS4 and PS5 right now. As I move some of this packaging, I'll once again highlight the contents of it. So there is that gorgeous uh, box, that gorgeous packaging that we've already gone through there. Um, but what matters is... The miniature art book. Horizon Forbidden West, the steelbook. Remember, you are getting a digital code for this collector's edition, making this kind of moot. But again, if you're a stupid fool like I am, you're going to buy a disc to fill these spaces. There's two of them because the, PS, the PS4 version requires two discs. Maybe that's the same for the PS5 as well, but I doubt it this early in the gen. And then the real 
marquee attraction here for anyone who's picking up Horizon Forbidden West Collector's Edition is the Tremor Tusk. This incredible, incredible statue right here with accompanying Aloy. Where's she gone? Here she is. But the Tremor Tusk is what we're here for. We've got a beautiful Aloy statue already. The, it's quite incredible. And in fact, are these little ones... It looks like they might even come out. But I'm not going to mess with that. But I guess handy for, for storage purposes, it looks like the spines come out. So that's that's pretty cool as well. But a um, little bit of poseable. Not much. Why would it need to be? Um, in fact, it's only one leg. It's the one the one leg that's elevated that's a little bit opposable. Maybe... It, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna tempt fate. Uh, we've got, yeah, we've got the the tusks. We've got the the trunk all attached. We've got mounted guns all over the place. It's one of the coolest enemies in the game. It's certainly one of the real tempole attractions. There are some fantastic other machines in the game that are well worth exploring and taking on. But that is the contents of the Horizon Forbidden West Collector's Edition. That will have to find a home alongside the Regal Edition. Once I do an unboxing for you next week about that somewhere amongst all this. I don't know how I'm going to do it just yet, but we've got to find a way. If you enjoyed this, and of course I should highlight codes again for the game itself, for armor, um, different armor packs, uh, extras in photo mode, the Apex Claw Strider Strike piece, stri uh, Machine Strike is an in-game game, a bit like a, like a Gwent for example, and super engaging just like Gwent. Um, in-game resources pack, the digital soundtrack, Horizon of Zero Dawn, Volume 1, the Sunhawk digital comic book, uh, and then Karja Behemoth, Elite Outfit and Short Bow, Nora Thunder Elite Outfit and Sling, and a code to the digital soundtrack. Some really, really cool pieces to this, and I hope that you've enjoyed it. I hope that you, if you're really, really keen on it, would manage to get yourself a collector's edition or even the regalo edition please shout out in the youtube comments if that's what you managed to get your hands on i'm really excited for you i'm really excited for everyone who's finally getting hands on with this thing it has been very hard for the last few weeks to have been able to, to have to keep my mouth shut and not talk about how incredible the game is now that the embargo is up it's fantastic to be able to share all the insights uh, that jess and i learned from our time playing it um, and get to kind of join in this conversation with you as you discover all the really amazing things about Gorilla's latest title. If you enjoyed this episode, this unboxing, please be sure to like, share and subscribe all the buttons down below and hit the notification bell. That way you're alerted to every new video the moment it goes live on the channel. That includes patched, player two plays, gamer school, more unboxings and a whole bunch more. There's some awesome stuff there so please subscribe and go and check it out. Visit the website player2.net.au for reviews, previews, opinion pieces, news, features, links to the podcast series, Patch, the Player 2 Pixelcast, and Dev Diary, where there's been some sensational developer guests on the show in recent weeks and months, with more to come, so please subscribe and go and check it out. And of course, make sure to check out Jess's review of Horizon Forbidden West on the Player 2 website. She gave it a perfect score, so please go and check that one out. It's an incredible game, and it's, an, it's a fantastic review as well. We're on Patreon, patreon.com slash player2au, kicking a few bucks. The lower tiers, early access to episodes, or the higher tiers, monthly episode exclusives. Finally, there's Twitter. You'll find me at Paul James Games. The website is player2au. And until next time, our next unboxing, the Regala edition most likely. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for joining me for this. Thank you to PlayStation for putting out an incredible game, Guerrilla Games. You're, you're so far ahead of so many developers in this industry. The game is phenomenal. This collector's edition is something special. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you later.